Hello and welcome to On Location with Scott. I am Scott and today we're looking at your water pictures. Last week's topic was water and we got some really nice shots today. Mostly all in the nature, but very nice shots. Now, you guys are turning in some really good shots, so I'm going to just basically say a few things about them. Unless there's something that I would really like to critique, you guys are doing a great job. Next week's uh, topic is wide open again, another free for all. So whatever you want to take a picture of and send in, just make sure you send in the full size picture because if you send in something from Instagram or Facebook or any of those platforms, they're going to turn out really bad. So send in the original photograph. When I'm done, I delete them all. I don't know where they are after that. They're gone. All I do, and I give you credit on your pictures. All I do is get rid of them after I've made the video so I'm not keeping any of your photographs mm -hmm. anyway let's go on to the first one and the first one was sent in with a moaning veteran and he sent this one in in particular as a landscape one a couple weeks ago but it was late so I didn't use it but it has water in it, in it and I thought I would use it in particular because this photograph is really really good in terms of um, rule of thirds and leading lines if you look at the banks of the river they lead you from the bottom right through to the middle to the mountain in the background which is in the top third great photograph Dan really nice photograph next is Trent Man 1 and this is kind of a nice little shot of the, some water brook brook waters or whatever you want to call it flowing waters but the whites is in the bottom third in the corner and you can see the leading lines all lead to the little rapids that are in the pictures. That's a really good shot. I like the composition and everything else. Next, Mr. Bexy. Now I know what he did here. I don't like that the waterfall is right in the middle. Mr. Bexy, got to put it a little off to the right. But anyway, I digress. What he did here was blur the waterfall. And to do that, you have to be at half a second or a second or maybe two seconds of shutter speed to blur the waterfall. It shows motion. Very difficult to do. On a sunny day, you need an ND filter. I don't know that he didn't use an ND filter. And funny enough, I did a video on how to blur water, which will be out next week. So this will give you a preview of what it's going to look like. And I did the same thing. I just positioned things a little different. Good shot, Mr. Bexy. Did you use an ND filter? Next is drive, not drive shaft Drew, but exploring with Drew. And he did a beautiful sunset. The only thing I would do different is less sky. Get rid of the blues at the top and bring out more sands because the shadows in the sand from the setting sun, gorgeous. So just bring up more beach than blue sky. But a nice shot. Love the lighting on that. Next is my friend Mudnut59. And Mudnut59 loves his kayaking and I don't blame him where he goes is all over lake and it's a beautiful spot I'm not sure if this is all over lake kind of looks like it he's got a little sun flare coming up he's got the side of the thing he's got the boat in the bottom thirds really nice photograph Glenn I like that one and 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 I suspect this was taken this is droning veteran I think this was taken with his Avantix or Vanta is POV drone if not it's like a, it's flat Dan and I'll show you I've got a thing at the end of this video that will help you make things pop and I've seen you do it on your videos you do it on your photos if you shoot in raw you've got a little more latitude I played with one of your JPEG photos and we'll do a, a comparison between the two so you'll see how that turns out in a minute but I mean Great composition, just a little flat, a little dull. Back to Trent Man, and he's got more rapids going down here. I suspect it's somewhere along the same river or creek or whatever it is. And it's not bad because he's got the rapids coming to the left and then to the right, so it, your eye kind of follows the rapids up or down depending on how you're looking at the photograph. Nice picture, I like it. A little dark in the shadows, but not bad. Mr. Bexy. This is a gorgeous shot. Just gorgeous. The reflections are awesome. 
Now, you guys have been listening to me go on about the rule of thirds a lot. It works in this case. Even though the mountain or the butte or the hill and the reflection is in the middle of the frame, it's in the middle third of the frame. Then the top third is the, the clouds and then the bottom third is the reflections. So you're using the rule of thirds this way and it's, it's very, very good. Very good. Love this photograph, Mr. Pexy. Great shot. Next is the comparison. Now, here what I did was I took Dan's picture. Again, I think it was taken with the Avanta uh, DJI POV drone. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Either way, what I've done is I've done a... He took his photograph, the before, and I tweaked it a little bit. And that's the way I... I've got it to come out. Now if you shoot in raw, you can tweak that photograph a little more. Dan, I hope you don't mind I used your photograph as an example. But it's like you do with your videos, because I know you do your videos and you pop it with a little bit of extra saturation. We well, can do the same thing with photographs. And this is yours before and this is me after tweaking it a little bit. I kind of like mine a little bit better. It's not as flat. The blues are a little bit better in there. But more than that, like it's a good photograph. The, 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 the depth of field into the small mountain in the back, really nice shot. Really nice shot. Well, that's it.